Lord, I will lift my eyes to the hills, knowing my help is coming from. And I lift my hands in total praise to you. Hey, good evening. Welcome to another piano lesson with Warren. My name is Warren McPherson. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Danny McClurking version of Total Praise. I'm going to show you the chordal breakdown, teach you some theory along the way as to how the chords are related and how they were resolved, how the melody is able to intertwine with the chords when you're playing solo piano and all of that good stuff. We're going to be playing this in the key of D flat 
which is the original key as the dynamic conversion. So, first thing, we start off, Lord, then he goes to the six, I will, and he walks this up to the five in first inversion. Lift, and then we're back to the one chord. Let's take a look at that section again. Lord, I will lift. And you notice I'm voicing my chord again, so the melody's on the top. Then he walks up. Mine eyes. That's just the two. The one chord in first inversion. Then he goes to the four. To the. Walk back down to the one in first inversion. Heels. And right here we have the flat two. Or you can call it the sharp one. But it's a diminished chord. He's using it as a passing. Remember, we talked about in a few videos back the diminished passing chord. Resolve to the two. Let's do that again. Lord, I will live. To the two, mine eyes. One in first inversion. To the four, two. The one chord in first inversion, then he. You can play a full diminished seventh on that too. He. And that resolves to the two. Then he did a passing. Passing to get back to the two, did the flat seven, which is B dominant seventh. Then walk that down chromatically to the six, which is a dominant seventh, the so B flat seven. And he, and he got back right to the two chord. Knowing, repeat that thing again. My help. Then he did the school. So after he did the, He's back to two. Now this is five in first inversion, then one in first inversion, taking you back to four. But it has this cool run that he played over it. See? takes you right back to that four. Nice little run. So, and I add to that by doing some, arpe arpeggiating the chords in my left hand. Then, That's just the one chord in first inversion, then the two, dominant seventh with the ninth, the melody is creating a ninth. Let's try that part again. Then, four, one in first inversion, then two, five, then catch up, check this round. So on my five, I just walk it down to the seven, and I'm playing this run over it. Then.
And in context, everything would sound like this. Um, knowing my hell. Ah, uh, let's do that again. Or you can just do. Cause you're gonna go in your peace. So this from your, it's just the first inversion one chord, then peace. You can think of this as a, a F7 uh, sharp five, or if you put the five down here, it's like a F7 uh, flat 13th. So whichever way you wanna call it. One more time, let's take it from that section. When my hell is coming, the two from you run. Yeah. Yup, then PC you, then look at this. You can do it's like a five chord with the four in the bass. And then it resolves to a four. Or you can just put the C sharp in the left hand too. Nice sound. Your PC you give me. Then the bass walks down and makes this a G flat dominant seventh. Or you can call it a G flat uh, slash E. In time, now we're on the two major, and it's also a seventh. In time of the stone, right here made it now a flat seven then we have this gospel walk so just play a G flat minor in first inversion in your right hand and start to walk from the two and this is a one chord in first and in second inversion so we're just bouncing that back and forth. Hmm? Chorus, here you are. That diminish again. The source of my strength. To the two, then we're gonna do a two five pass and go into six. This is my sharp 11th. And this is my three, or the F, then to the six, which is a minor ninth, two, five, minor seven, because we're doing a two, five going to four. Then to flat seven again. Let's take a look at that again. A lot of chords happening here, I know, folks, so. You are the source of my strength. Passing. You are the strength of my life. Five chord in second inversion. I lift my this chord again. Hands in total praise to five and then one. Then you loop that section again. Source of mine. You 
can do a tritone sub there too for the F. walk like and from there I'm just walking from the diminish to one in first inversion then it's like a two chord in first inversion uh, uh, E flat minor slash G flat back to the two Five. Let me play all of that from the beginning again, slowly, so you can see what's happening with my voicings and, and just how I'm putting the chord, yeah? So we start from the beginning. Lord, I will live mine eyes to Diminished. He is passing. Flat seven, six, two. No wing. Repeat. My hell. Then. the dominant seventh and second third inversion or G flat slash E and you can walk this up B flat ninth and then and that's just me walking through the diminished chord in third Resolving to two, two five passing, going to six, five, <laughs> you can do that too, so, altered chord, flat nine, flat five, D flat, strength of my life, back to that chord, flat seven, one chord, second inversion, I, five, lift my, one, four, with like a suspension, hands in toe, toe, praise. If you want, you can voice that chord like that, the two, so it's the thirteenth, then the five. Now we have the tagline, the amens. Ah. So we're on the one, the bass goes down to the flat seven. And we have a four chord in first in four chord in uh, uh in minor. So G flat minor, and then we have the third in the bass, which is the flat six. Then we're gonna do this walk with the bass. And in the right hand, you're just gonna have the four minor and bouncing it back with the one chord. And together you have and the same thing. Now what you can do to create some interest to this is add other notes so you get the moving harmony that you heard in the choir. So you can do stuff like...
So now I just have a dominant seventh in this hand and a third of the chord in this hand. Same thing. So that's total praise, guys. Beautiful song. Beautiful arrangements and the way they utilize the chromatic chords and the passing and everything like that. So, that's what I have for you uh, in this tutorial. If you would like the MIDI file of what I just did, where you can dump it into Mediculous or a DAW and slow it down so you can further see what's happening, this will be available on my website. Just head over there and click it. It's free. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And if you're seeing my videos for the first time, please subscribe, folks. I have hours and hours of amazing content from song breakdowns to theory instructions, ear training instructions, just everything you need to get you moving in your piano playing. And as always, as always if there's a song that you'd like me to do a breakdown on in the future, post it below, all right? Also, remember to check out my website at pianolessonwithwarren.com. I sell tutorials over there, full-length tutorials that are usually an hour, hour and a half, so on. Also, you can check out my Facebook fan page. I post a lot of interesting stuff over there as well. Until then, keep listening, keep singing, and keep practicing because this is how you'll continue to improve as a musician. Catch you soon. Bye.